That's tremendous field position that they were given following the turnover, but they've still got work to do to get to field goal range, and the coverage we're seeing isn't going to make it easy. Now contact up front as penalty markers come in. Who is this against? And that'll be a free five yards for the offense. Just like a tennis match, that's just an unforced error. Stay alert, don't jump early, and give them free yardage. After the encroachment penalty, here's second and five. To throw, it's Murray. And he'll go out of bounds after taking it a little further down inside the 40. Maybe not exactly what they had in mind, but that scramble good for six and a first down. Murray now. Throwing middle, but it's incomplete. Tonight, from London. The kicker, Dustin Hopkins, set to get this one going. And we are underway here in London. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. And here come the Saints for their opening drive. They're led out by a three-time Pro Bowler, owner of over 35,000 passing yards in 11 seasons, the veteran Andy Dalton. I love his football IQ. I love his ability to have people rally around him. And as he likes to remind me all the time when I get ready to call one of his games, I can run it a little bit too. A nice presence to have on your team. The Dalton going to throw right away. And his first pass is incomplete. It's always tough trying to keep your guy upright when he's trying to throw the football. When you're dealing with those big bad guys on the defensive front, it's even tougher. And this time, those guys on the opposite side won the battle, getting to the quarterback and knocking him into an incomplete. And he can't find anywhere to go with it, and he goes down. 
Well-timed effort there by Derwin James, a sack from his safety position. All right, partner, I'm going to be Captain Obvious right here. Not the start you're looking for offensively, right? Incomplete pass, followed by a sack. And when he went down, it looked like that right ankle got turned, but thankfully he popped up okay, and they breathed a sigh of relief on that sideline. And I don't think this is the script they had in mind for their opening drive. This is third and long. Here's Dalton. Flushed out right. And this will not get close to the first down marker as he's brought down at the 26. Decent gain on the scramble to six, but now it's fourth. I thought he did a pretty good job there to get back what he could, but let's face it, that sack on second down, took about throwing a wrench into the works. It certainly did. Yeah, he did everything he could there, trying to pick up some positive yardage, and he did, but not enough. Blake Gillikin on to punt now on fourth down. DeAndre Carter back deep. punt no return and it'll be charger football here as they take over a charger offense makes its way out for the first time in this ball game and leading the way already a star in just his third season it's justin herbert it hasn't taken herbert long to earn the status as one of the league's best and most entertaining passers he's locked and loaded on every snap in the second he sees an opening the ball soaring downfield you've got to be on your a game at all times against him the second you slip up, he's liable to burn you. Herbert setting up to throw on first down. Try to drop one in, but it's incomplete. Well, they certainly did a nice job improvising there, extending the play, hoping someone would come open downfield, but they never did. So after the incompletion on first, now second and 10. Now here's a six-year man, Austin Eckler. And nowhere to run on the interior of that defensive line. He'll get back only to the line of scrimmage. Calling no gain on the run there, and now they'll be looking at a third down. And for the Saints here on third down, an extra defensive back on the field. They'll fake the handoff, now Herbert. And he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. Demario Davis coming in for the sack that time. We've watched this a long time, and I still don't believe we get it. Third and long, why are you calling play action? Because yeah, they're not going to bite defensively, right? No, not at all. I did have a coach explain to me years ago that for some teams, that's how they have to deal with pass protection and their line blocking. And they're going to fake it from deep in their own territory. And this is incomplete. A huge gamble, and it does not pay off. They fake the punt, it doesn't work out, and that will force a turnover on downs. New Orleans Saints, they get ready to set up shop for their second drive. They were forced to punt last time, and I doubt sincerely that they'll have to punt here because they're gifted with terrific field position. I don't even want to think about the idea that they would end up punting starting with this type of field position. Neither do they. Great starting spot, great opportunity to run your full playbook. They want to take a shot here, they can go ahead and do it. A first down throw coming for Dalton. And a dangerous throw there, incomplete. He threw that into coverage. It was nearly intercepted. I think he's got to be careful not to force anything into coverage right there. There weren't really any throwing lanes, but the best part for him, he's got second and third down to fall back on. So after the incompletion, second and 10 from the 22. Play fake, here's Dalton. And a big loss here as he's taken down. It's Khalil Mack that time shooting in there to get him to the ground. Now that was a passer's nightmare. The front door totally shut down by the defense, so he kept going backwards, hoping to find another avenue of escape. It didn't exist. Third and long, they'll look to throw. Under pressure, and they got 
to him again. The veteran Kyle Van Noy in there to drop him. But this is what happens when you get behind the chains, as people like to say, when you have obvious passing situations, hard to vary it up and fool a defense. And you hate those situations if you're an O-lineman, right? Oh, without a doubt, because you just know they're coming, and you never know exactly how. They can be exotic in their blitzes, or their athletic ability just takes over. Here's Blake Gillikin now. 44 on his first punt, and this is a good kick as well. And not what he was hoping for there as this will hit in the end zone for a touchback. The Chargers get set to go here for their second drive. First and 10 and kind of tipping their hand at running the ball. Three tight ends are out there. Herbert going to keep it on his sneak. Only a yard on the keeper and it'll be second down. Okay, I think we can safely agree. That's not a call you see very often on first and 10. Ever. <laughs> who, yeah, I mean, who, who calls, calls a that? first down sneak? I guess the best we've probably seen is a first down quarterback draw. Right. Yeah, but not a sneak. But they did gain yards. And he'll get this up over the 25 to the 26. When you find that kind of yardage, you couldn't be more confident as a ball carrier. And guess what? You're going to go back and tell your offensive coordinator, I'd like to keep carrying it. Thank you. In search of four yards here to pick up the first down. Herbert going to keep it on his sneak. And he won't get close. Only a yard, fourth and three. You know, we might start getting some props here in the booth. You know, that one that says the D and then the fence that you put up next to it. How about that? They brought out the jumbo package and still couldn't move them off the line of scrimmage enough to pick up. Now they're going to try this again. It's another fake. Oh, but this is going to backfire as it's intercepted. And the Saints are going to take possession of the football. So the fake punt, a daring call this deep in their own end, and the end result, certainly not what they were hoping for. I have to admit, I admire their daring, but I actually would like this play call better if it's between the 40s here. The problem is, even if the ball's not intercepted and it's just incomplete, you're still giving away half a field's worth of possession. There, D gets the INT. Now what can Dalton do? And the Chargers rush is going to get there. Down he goes. They bring the safety on the blitz, and he busts through to drop him for an eight-yard loss. And this dominant defensive performance continued on that play. This poor quarterback has now received the protection he needs and has had to pick himself up off the turf far too often. Defense offsides here. Freebie for Dalton. Under pressure, they got him again. Well, we looked at each other right when he flinched. We knew that that flag was coming. Yeah, offsides, easy call. Mark off the five and keep it moving. Second down, Kamara. And he is going to lose yardage here. They call that a loss of six yards. And it's third down now. The Saints with the football here to begin quarter number two. No score after one on EA Sports. sets up play action pressure and he's going to be taken down they sack him back right around the 44 Khalil Mack that is now two sacks for him here in this first half so Charles no turnovers yet for this offense but those sacks now they're starting to pile up and one thing usually leads to another because they've got to figure out how the offensive line and everyone else involved in protection can keep their quarterback upright and allow him a chance to 